go. We just finished refracting. Everything is great. So, Rob, I've just finished uh, refracting you myself. And for doctors who are watching, I do this impromptu. You being a case of radial keratotomy, but along with that, extremely regular astigmatism and scars all over multiple surgeries. Rob, this is my absolutely important test. It's the perceptive test now, okay? Mm -hmm. So he could barely see the big E. Now we'll keep on going, and I've kept both eyes open. Simulation. Come on, Rob. Read that line. C D Z K V R H C S. And he's dilated. This is for doctors I'm talking. He's already dilated. And the lights are bright, so I'm really challenging him. And both eyes open. I'll show you his scars in a minute. And he's actually reading all this. Come on, Rob. R H K S D. Come on, Rob. I know it's difficult. H C Z. Pushing you. Don't have to. K O R D H. Super, Rob. Super. Make my day. Come on. K O D Z H. Difficult, right? Yes. Lovely. So that's 2025 where he's come from 2400 and being told nothing can be done. Rob, I'm very pleased. Now, quickly, this is what I call my acid test. Read that line. Uh, yeah, okay, SVH. Quick, read that oh, line. Oh, something. I can't see it. Sure? Yeah. Give me 1 to 10, please, quick. On this one? No, it's 8. SVHCZ. Lovely. And giving me 8 here, central scar. Now, let me take him to a absolutely easy line. Rob, can you see that, please? You know that. Mm -hmm. Ready? Yep. All I want is quality. 1 to 10. Okay. Quality? I would say that's an 8 or 9. Lovely. So that's perceptive improvement because he's not a 2020 person, though I'm still aiming for it. This perception tells me medically and ethically is it worth proceeding. And for doctors who are watching, this is his eye. You can see the dense scarring here. This is his, here you can see, dense scarring here. You can also see stitches his RK surgeon had taken many years ago. And on top of that, he has had multiple scrapings on the cornea, correct Rob? That's correct. Quick in a nutshell, give me 20 second year history Rob. So history going by is RK in 93, uh, had some complications with that. Uh, fast forward like 20 some odd years, about seven years ago, I came in with fluctuating vision in my left side. I was sent to a local eye surgeon where they performed a uh, corneal scrape. Issues came back and then had a corneal ablation with laser. It came back again and they scraped my left eye again. Fast forward another six, seven years, things were stable after that. For the most part and then six seven years later i am back with the same issues and wanting them and my surgeon wanting to do the same procedures over again with no correction in vision and just addressing what you know the, the surface issues were well wow, amazing language and you flew in today from i came in last night from seattle Washington. seattle so and the same thing is seeing in the other room the patient from poland same scar but here we are with you so you can see his scars and his doctor in Seattle has done scrapings three times and PTK, laser PTK, phototherapeutic keratectomy, which I never like because they chase the scar and do not. And his language was amazing, Rob, very well said that the vision wasn't correct. And you can see the stitches here, which is RK surgeon over 30 years ago had put in because of full cut RK into the eye to the full penetration. So the stitches are left. Dense scarring and we are planning laser corneoplastique on his eye. All right, Rob, I'm very happy because you're giving me 8 on 10. I call that gold, which means it's worth proceeding. Right? Excellent. Get some rest in the hotel. I'll again catch you tomorrow and recheck you All right. before we go. Yeah, sounds good. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. My pleasure. Okay, sir. <laughs>